Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to Ancient's Play. So I have here new art prints. There's actually two of them are new and I saw that I have some still in my uh, art print stash hidden away. Uh, another art print that I have not gotten them out from the tube. So I'd also like to show you guys those. So yeah, I, I will also be showing you guys the some close-ups on how I get them out, how I flatten them as well. So I do hope you enjoy. So keep watching. If you like the video, click the thumbs up and help me share with everyone. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel, The Ancient's Place. This is the uh, birds of prey. Look at that one. So let's try to get this out from the tube. There you go. So normally Sideshow has it in uh, wrapped also in this paper as well. And if you can see there is also like a numbering here. So 70 out of 300. And let's try to remove this. Sometimes I, sometimes I also removed it from here. So let's see if I can. Um, I hope I can because I always prefer it this way. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so it seems like I can get it out. That is actually pretty good. And now let's try to put them here. Um, let me put it in this one here. I hope you can see. Uh, maybe a bit closer there. So this is the print. Look how gorgeous that is. And there you go. This is Birds of Prey. Really beautiful stuff. Look at that one. I love the, the pencil work or the inking with this one. It's very clear, really good stuff. So this is an art print um, or artwork based on the cover of Birds of Prey 22 by Rachel and Terry Dudson in the Sideshow website. It only mentioned Rachel, but basically they have their name, both of them here and even in the art print as well. That looks amazing. It has a uh, dimensions of 18, as you can see, 18 by 24 more or less. Um, so typical sideshow uh, dimensions for art prints, really good stuff. I like the the inking part here, really beautiful. I think I'm not sure if this is uh, watercolor. This might be watercolor. It looks absolutely good, even if it's digitally done watercolor. It still looks amazing. You can see the the how would say the the colors here, the gradient colors, how they 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 shade here. Really beautiful stuff. I like those and also the, the details in here. I like always this kind of art because again for me it gives like a raw feel that it's been drawn. It's not too 3D, really good stuff. I also like the emotions is here. It depicts how the different characters are like. So you can see Batgirl, um, how is it Black Canary and Huntress. Huntress is always the, the, the fiercest one of them. Uh, really beautiful stuff. I like the backgrounds as well. Really good stuff for this one. And uh, I really like it. Didn't even regret when I saw this, I bought it right away. Next one here is, I hope this focuses well. Uh, this is a Red Sonia Queen of Ercania or Hercania. This is 110 of 300 edition size. So let's try to get it out from the tube. Um, so I hope it works well. Look at look at this one. Let me try again to 
get it out from directly without tearing the, some of the paper covers so it's a bit hard to get it out directly from the paper tube so I have to tear that paper cover down um, so let's see um, let's put this uh, weights in here and let's unveil this beautiful art piece wow th wow this is very good <laughs> I am totally surprised how good this is. Look at that. I mean, wow, this is good. I, I, I'm a bit speechless right now. Um, I didn't thought that it would be this good. But damn, so I think this is also uh, based from the cover of Red Sonia. Uh, but I, I, I'm, I'm totally surprised it's this good. Man, this is good. This is this is this piece is amazing um, I have to say I'm really surprised how it turned out I have to say I love this um, I think this is one of the pieces I always uh, always consider putting uh, in frame one of which is that the composition is very good very very good uh, I really just love it so before I, I geek out on this stuff um, so this is actually done by I hope I pronounce his name correctly Julian Totino Tedesco um, I have to say his signature is pretty amazing look at this one very good stuff again so going back to my geeking out regarding this piece so what I've always wanted or loved about this kind of art is that first is always the composition um, because it's the easiest um, thing that you can already see so there's like a big circle there there's some like uh, some stuff here as well in it, the, the, the how would say the, the foreground and even as the background and the character is in the middle really beautifully done and they have created a very beautiful negative space here uh, which just somehow when you look at it if you have placed a lot of stuff here you wouldn't be checking out directly the character and that's the second thing when you look at it you would always because of the beautiful composition you would always go directly to the face and if you look at the face it is stunning really beautiful the details in her crown is really amazing i love this i think this is a cover from red sonia 2 i think uh, and again this is really beautiful surprisingly beautiful i i didn't thought it was this good i love the texture uh, of the paint here something because I thought in the in the pictures inside here this was just all white but it somehow like has some texture some some gradient or something a dark white or blue bluish really good stuff I am surprised amazing job by Julian kudos to those who got this really really beautiful stuff Next one here is this Domino Luck Be My Lady. So it has an edition size of six, 160 of 200. So edition size is pretty amazing. So now let's try to get this baby or this lady out of the tube. Look at that. Very, very easy. And let's see if I can get it out easily as well with this paper. Um, with this paper tube here let me try I hope I can I guess I can that is pretty amazing let me try to put it here now um, okay this is the head part really good stuff let's see how she turns out how lucky I am to have this let's so I know that this is, I guess, one or the design they did for the 
a premium format uh, I think this is done by Alex Garner so there you go wow <laughs> wow <laughs> I didn't thought that it was this good so these are the pieces where I just easily neglected um, that's why I just place it in uh, somewhere um, I even almost forgot about it but wow it turned out amazing already um, sold out in Sideshow website the very good thing about this piece is the edition size that is for sure it's only 200 um, that is amazing in terms of edition size typical Sideshow um, dimensions 18 by 24 done by Alex Garner really good stuff here so in my understanding this is one uh, or this is the design that was based on the uh, premium format domino really good stuff <laughs> one of the best things that I have seen right away or my eyes but go directly is the gun look how detailed the gun is look at that. very beautiful I don't know if it was the same as the one in the premium format and the next thing that I could easily see is this part in here this is pretty amazing I love the look Look at that, the, the hair complements it. So again, the, this is very beautifully done with regards to composition. I do love the part where in the, the contrast, the red orange or something and the yellow here uh, and the black and like black and white and somehow like bloody red or something like reddish uh, orange, really good com um, contrast for that matter. But again, the, my best part is always this one very beautiful stuff here um this is one of those things i i really thought that it wouldn't turn out that good that's why i just put it somewhere um or just leave it right away in the portfolio but damn this is quite good i'm really surprised really really good stuff by alex garner So there you go, another art prints uh, in the collection, another video of getting out from the tube, really amazing stuff. I just realized that the characters are all ladies, like powerful ladies, very, very good stuff here. And my favorite of the bunch is this one, no doubt, very good stuff. I do wish there was a canvas for this one because it's just amazing. This kind of art just deserves like a canvas. So again, thank you for the artist. And as always, uh, keep watching and more art print videos only here at Engine's Place.